the action as you can clearly see is spelled out onto the floor as JC Dykes is absolutely peppering the hobo with strikes all over his body he has him in a headlock and my god I can't go without saying it but JC Dykes looks like what you would see if you wiped the paint off of one of those ceramic sad clown figurines the mighty hobo about to commit an act of alleged child abuse on J.C. Dykes' manager. For God's sake, kid, just give him what he wants. He's going to turn you black and blue if you don't. But I don't think it would be the shade of blue that you can find on all the fine products down at Bill's Powder Blue Emporium of Beckley, West Virginia. They have all the latest in powder blue products and apparel, ranging from gaudy tuxedos that you buy for functions that you don't really want to go to, to an old Chevy Bel Air that's really just sort of become some kind of weird birdbath in the back. Bill's has a wider selection than any powder blue themed store in in the area so head on down to bill's powder blue emporium that's bill's powder blue emporium of beckley west virginia be there both men are back in the ring and dykes hits the hobo and both men have tumbled to the mat and dykes now has beard fleas the two combatants are now on the ground and from my vantage point in the booth it seems that dykes's manager is saying something to him possibly shouting in a voice that hasn't cracked yet some words of encouragement what what's that frank well, folks, it appears that Frank in the truck has dispatched one of our fine engineering crew down to ringside and has picked up exactly what was said. According to our engineering team, Dykes' manager said the following, and I quote, Please hurry up. If my mom finds out I went out without finishing mowing the lawn, she isn't going to let me go to the Harry Potter convention next weekend. Let's hope for his sake this match finishes up before he gets found out. Dykes covers the mighty hobo and doesn't exactly get the result he was hoping for with the hobo putting his foot on the ropes. Hobo seems like he's completely out of it, which wouldn't be a problem if he had just brought his shopping cart full of cans to ringside with him to lean up against. The radiator whiskey seems to be affecting him more than it has myself, which makes me think that I should probably seek treatment or perhaps ingest some charcoal to counteract the effects of whatever it was that I drank out of that unlabeled glass jar before we came on the air. Folks, this is getting quite serious. Of course, I'm talking about the hobo's inability to mount any kind of an offense. If this gets any worse, I'm going to have to say that the referee should absolutely step in as it appears that the mighty hobo simply cannot defend himself anymore. Perhaps it's the smell emanating from his body that's keeping the official from getting within smelling range of the mighty hobo, but this is certainly becoming quite ugly. As you folks saw just a moment ago, the mighty hobo executed what could be considered his first offensive move in some time in the contest by tossing J.C. Dykes out of the ring. Well, perhaps he had a little bit of assistance when Dykes caught a good deep inhale with a foul aroma coming from the body of the mighty hobo and decided to bail out before the referee could make a three count. <laughs> 